So now there's only four eggs. That only means one thing, Ransom. Mm -hmm. There's a thief on the homestead. Well, this not... Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you, Ranger and Ransom. Uh, if you guys are here for the first time, this is Walker Farm Fam. I'm Gary. And these are the boys, mm -hmm. and they're going to help us today with a brand new project. And Mama and Sissy went to um soccer game. Soccer game. Yep, Mama's coaching the soccer game, so they had to go to that. But the boys came home with me, and we're going to get a little work to done today. So if you see behind us right here, that says Haas. Haas. And the boys are holding some Haas seeds as well. And what's this? That is sunflower seeds. And what do you have, Ranger? I got some garden grenade squash. Grenade squash? Grenade squash and mountain vineyard tomatoes. Mountain vineyard tomatoes. All right. And Ransom, he's got some Joker sunflower seeds. I, I like the Joker. Chocolate cherry sunflower seeds and firecracker sunflower seeds. So we've got a lot of different things to try. And I've got uh, some Max Pack cucumbers and green griller squash. So I am really excited about this one. I'm excited because you can get a free package of these. Um, just head over there, do a little shopping, and when you're done, apply the code WFF21. So you'll probably want to do that at checkout. But apply the code WFF, Walker Farm Fam 21, and you're going to get your own pack of green griller squash. So that is green griller squash. If you've been around our channel very long, you know that we have beef cattle and we raise uh, pigs. And what do we like to eat, Ranger? Bacon and sausage and eggs. Okay, and we like all that, but what do we like to eat off tomatoes. the grill? Tomatoes. What do we like to eat off the grill? I know. The grill. Steaks. Steaks. Pork chops. Pork chops. And also... Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Fresh bratwurst. So nothing goes better with some of those meats than these green griller squash. So head over there to Haas Tools and um, use code WFF21 uh, to get you some green griller squash. The whole point of us out here in the shop though is to get these seeds started. So we partnered with Haas Tools. They sent us some nice stuff right here um, that we're gonna be using today. And we're gonna start off with these um, seed trays. So this is a specially designed seed tray. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. And then we have a germination mat to get them started in a hurry because we want to hurry up and get these seeds growing, don't we boys? Yeah. yeah. That way we can get them in the garden and uh, get, them, get them to grow in us some yummy food. All right, boys, so what do we got to do first? Plant these. Got to plant we these? Got to put the dirt in. So what do you need for dirt? Water. Uh, water and soil. Water and soil, and then, did you know this is going to make us have just the right temperature for the soil to make those seeds pop up out of the ground? Let's get to it. All right. So the first thing we have to do is roll out our germination mat, boys. Whoa, that's a big one. So this, like I told you all ago, is going to give us the perfect temperature. Can you hold that down, Ranger? Mm -hmm. Like that. All right. So first things first is getting these laid out. And next thing we need is what, boys? Dirt. 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 All right. So Daddy's going to take this. Now, here's the thing. Before um, I started watching Haas Tools, I've actually learned quite a bit in the last couple years. Um, I learned that when you're seeding plants, you need uh, soil that's specific for seeding plants. So I bought some last year, I still got some here, and we're going to use that today. So Ranger, you know that water bottle you use to spray your hair? Can yeah. you go right over there and grab that for me? You took it out of my bathroom! Yeah! When you need a water bottle, you just go to where the water bottles are good. So if you'll stand right over here, and then I'm going to take a little bit, don't do it yet, I'm just going to start putting this over these. Can I, can I do some? Uh, in a minute, yeah. I'm, going to, I'm just going to fill them about halfway. Alright, so we've got that filled up about halfway, and as you can see, we did uh, spill a little bit, nothing wrong with that. We're just going to clean it up as we go. Yeah, and there is a little bit of holes at the bottom, so like right here, there's holes everywhere. Yeah, so, so a little bit's going to fall through, but we got it. Control. Under control. A bit more. So we're really trying to up our seed game this year. So in the past we've planted a few seeds 
um, just by using our leftover seed packs, uh, the little plastic flimsy ones. But this year, we hope that these um, will make a big difference. So one thing about these seed trays is that they're designed kind of in an um, upside-down cone. So think of it like that. And then they have little lines in here. So whenever you um, plant this and it makes that root ball, it's designed to just slide right out. So this seed tray, made in the USA, and you shouldn't have to have any little plastic inserts in there. So the boys are having a little fun. I think, Ransom, Ransom how many times did you get sprayed? Five? All right, I think that was the last time. You know why? Because it's your turn to spray. No, don't spray me. <laughs> Just spray the plants for now. You can get me one. You can get me one since I got you like six times. <laughs> and there are attachments that you could use that would probably miss this and spray it a little quicker, but that wouldn't be as much fun as the boys are having right now, so... I think we'll just stick to this tactic for now. What do you think, boys? Can I get over here a little ransom? Yeah. Just straight down. Good job. Don't spray me. Don't. Stop it. This is fun. <laughs> Stop it. Stop spraying me. <laughs> Here, you can do it. Okay. Oh. Alright, so these are nice and drenched. Good job, boys. I appreciate you all your hard work. It's wet now. And now we're going to go ahead and top them all off, okay? Okay. Alright. Hang on, there. that's probably about nice good. Towels. All right, boys. Got it all topped off? Yep. Now what's what's next? Um, spray it. Well, you gotta wet it down one more time, Ransom. Okay? I'm gonna do it. You're gonna start doing it? We'll check back in with you in a minute. We'll get this thing all wet and we'll be ready to plant some seeds. So we ran out of water, but the boys got a plan. We're gonna head out, get some water real quick, and while we're out there, we're gonna show you the Haas seeds that we already planted that are growing. So look for some radishes some kale, some leafy lettuce, and some onions. So let's head out there and take a look at that. You ready, boys? Back in the shop, and um, sorry, but we c we couldn't talk out there because it's very windy. And Ransom, he's spraying, he's spraying the dirt. I'm getting nice and wet. So we got the soil all prepped. The boys did an awesome job. Uh, they think they had fun. They got in a little bit of a water fight and I had to break it up off camera So you guys missed a little bit of that So to get these ready we have to put a half inch hole So almost all of these seeds are half an inch. There's one down here. That's a fourth of an inch um, So I'm going to show the boys about what a half inch looks like. So look boys. We'll start over here and Just like that. Okay, just look real look real nice and easy. Okay Just like mine Just like mine Yep, just just a half inch, so it's like this much. So we're going to get all these holes made, then we're going to put some seeds in, and we will be that much closer to having some beautiful plants started. Talking to me. How many holes do you make, Ransom? Um, five, of course. How many? Five. Five? Mm -hmm. You're doing a good job. Thanks. That one's a little bit too deep. A little bit too deep? That's all right. We'll, we'll kind of check it when we put them in, okay? Double check. Did you get all the holes, boys? Yep. All right. What's that for? Well, we'll find out. So... I know. We're labeling them. I've got some... Uh, so, I've got some 
a garden marker somewhere. Not quite sure where they're at. So instead of using uh, the little markers that go in here, which I'm not a huge fan of those anyway because sometimes um, I feel like they take up too much room in the little uh, in the little trays. So I'm going to use some good old painter's tape and I'm going to use my Sharpie. So I'm going to put these in the order I'm going to plant them. I like the plant stuff. So we're going to start off with our green griller squash. Okay. Joker. If it's Joker sunflower, I just put ransom sunflower. <laughs> <laughs> Ransom, not a joker. Huh? You're a joker, aren't you? I like joker sunflowers. Do you like joker sunflowers? And then chocolate cherry sunflower. I'm just going to put CC on that one. CC? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to start with our green griller squash. So, boys, in our little hole, we're just going to drop one. One. Right Which in there. Which side up? Any side? It, um, just yeah, just in. drop it in there. We're going to see how they do, Okay. And so I don't know if I told you earlier, but this is the 162 uh, seed tray. To me, these look like a great size. You can get plenty of starts um, right here in this one tray. We're going to get save this one for later. We'll probably do pumpkins and gourds and that. Um, but we're going to start off with our squash and some tomatoes and sunflowers. All right, did you get them all? Yeah. All right, let's put all the leftovers in here. That way, later on in the season, we'll have some more seeds to plant. Sound good? So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of our seeds in here, and we'll catch back up to you when we do. Let's get to it. Yeah. So the boys are going to go out, and Ransom left his bunny on the trampoline, and he doesn't want to get, worry about it. So I want to make sure these get down to about half an inch, um, and we'll get them covered up. So this is one of Ransom's Easter presents. All the boys have it from Nana. I have to stand up. Okay, stand up and show them. Now don't get, don't get the bunny close to uh, the plants. Don't get the bunny close to the dirt, okay? Today's gonna start covering them. Here, let me hold them up. Let me go show them. So this is Peter. Peter he has Ransom's name on it, and but the day is. Can I have it? Yeah. Peter I... Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Did you guys have a good Easter? Yeah, guys, comment down below if you had a good Easter. Yeah, we, we had a great one. We had a great Easter. We had a great dinner with family, and the kids had all kinds of uh, Easter egg hunting they did. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it, boys? All right, this is ready. Who wants to finish the spray on them? I do. I don't. You don't? Ransom wants to go over there and play with his bunny. All right. All right, Ranger, why don't you give him a good soaking now? So the last thing we're going to do is plug in our germination mat, and the mat plugs right in here to the controller. And like I said, these Haas uh, Tools mats, you can combine and uh, pigtail up to four of these, I believe, off of this one controller. So if you got a lot to grow, uh, it would not be a problem with these. So setting the temperature was super easy. All we have to do is hold it down, set, and you can bump it up. 90 or 89 90 so there's a chart right here under on the mat itself that tells you the temperature it needs to be i looked at what we're growing and 85 looked like the correct temperature so that's what i've got it set to so it already came up a few degrees it's at 70.8 and it'll just keep on climbing so one of the last things you do to ensure the temperature is controlled is it has a little probe that goes down uh, about an inch into the soil so that'll make sure the temperature stays nice and warm. Me and the kids are really excited about growing stuff this year. As the boys get bigger and Mazzy, uh, they just learn more and more about the garden and they have come to enjoy the little things like watering the garden, um, picking things out of it obviously, and they even don't mind picking weeds sometimes. So hopefully they continue to enjoy the garden. I never want to force them so much that they hate it um, but I do want them to turn off the video games, turn off the iPads, get outside, and get their hands dirty, um, just like they were earlier, because there's a lot of joy in that um, in itself. Growing things is fun for everybody. I know it's fun for me. I just hope that they continue uh, to enjoy gardening as they grow. Also, a special thanks to the Max. They sent us um, some marigold seeds. I've heard these are great to plant around your tomatoes, 
So I'm gonna try that this year and try to keep the pests down if I can. So the boys went back inside. They were getting a little thirsty and a little hungry, so Ranger was gonna go in and get them a snack. But I hope you're just as excited as I am about the upcoming gardening season. This is my favorite time of year by far um, because it's all the new stuff. New baby calves outside. We just had another one born uh, yesterday. New um, trees blossoming and blooming. Uh, we got to see our trees we planted last year. Uh, they're greening up for the first time, so the kids are excited about that. And obviously getting these seeds started and getting the garden going, it just all um, comes together with these longer days to make it my favorite time of year. So follow along. You'll want to make sure and see how these seeds do. Uh, we're going to do kind of a full review on the full process here. So just follow along um, from us getting them started to getting them in the ground and seeing how they grow till the time it comes to eat some of the stuff. So thank you so much for following along. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to head outside real quick and we're going to end with a few chores and stick around because if you watched our video, um, maybe two or three videos ago, when we went and got wild onions and eggs, Mazzy found a turtle shell and she got that turtle shell painted. And she wants to show all of you her new turtle shell. So stick around for that. That'll be at the very end. But I want to thank you right now so much for um, watching, following along. Our family really appreciates it. And we hope you have a great day. God bless and stick around for the chores and Mazzy showing off her turtle shell. How many eggs do you think there are ransom? 100. 100? Now let's check. All right, let's check. Ready? Watch out. How many are there? Oh, come here. Wow. I told you. 100? I told you. All right, let's count them. One. one. Be real easy with them. Well, there's even a tiny one. Two. And then make them nice and flat. Three. Mama be so impressed. Mama's gonna be so impressed because you're laying them nice and flat. Four. I bet Mama's super impressed. Five. Six. Is that all of them? No. Wow. Seven. Sixty-seven. Seven. I see one more. Eight. Good job. Now let's go. Now let's that one. Good job, girls. All right, hang on. There's sometimes there's a secret hiding spot over here. Let's go check our secret hiding spot. Sometimes these chickens like to lay in a secret hiding spot. Well, let's check. Oh, yep. There they are. Oh, there's a tiny one, too. Three. There's a tiny Ooh, that one is tiny. Look at that. That is little. Let's take it. Wonder why it's so little. Because they're rated. Baby, was the first egg of her laying them this year? Yeah. All right, there's three more. So how many does that make total? Five. Eleven. Now let's check this one. All right, you're going to check that one? Usually there's not any on this side. Nope, none over here. All right, Ransom, you going to check this one? Oh, we got to be quiet. Oh, you see any? How many are in there? Yikes. How many? <laughs> one. So that makes 12. Oh, I see one right there on the floor. Get that one. Where? Right here. Oh, this one is a small one. 13. Oh. The girls are already up for the night, aren't they? Getting nervous up there. Okay, let daddy help, okay? 14, 15, 16. 
I don't see any more in there. Daddy got them. So how many how many eggs do we have all together? Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. We have a bunch of eggs. A bunch of eggs. Go to the house. Elon! 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 Tesla! Tesla! Branson. What? You want to show them how the cows go crazy? Mm -hmm. Ready? Come on! Coming in hot. Hey, baby. I'm trying to get in the bucket. You're trying to fit in the bucket like you did that one time? Yeah. All right, let's see if you can fit in the bucket. I'm too big now. You're too big? <laughs> All right, you have to go back in our videos and find the one called Bucket Boy to see when Ransom used to fit in the bucket and I could carry him, right? Um, can can you carry me? Nope. You have to give your head down under the under the uh, handle. Will fit? Maybe. Used to, you could. <laughs> yeah, now I'm too big. All right. We'll leave an eye card for Bucket oh, Boy, yeah, okay? I, I can't. In case they want to go watch it. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> you okay? Why? I'm too big for now. Yep, too big. All right, let's go back to the house, okay? Mom will be back soon. So we just made it back inside, and you all saw us gather those eggs, didn't they, Ransom? Mm -hmm. How many did we have a while ago? What? Do you remember how many eggs we had? We had 16 eggs. And, and now, look how many is in here. Here, let me count. One, two, three, four. There's four eggs. So now there's only four eggs, so that and, can only mean one and, thing. And guess what? What? The tiny egg was in there. That tiny egg is gone, isn't it? Yeah. So now there's only four eggs. That only means one thing, Ransom. Mm -hmm. There's a thief on the homestead. Well, there's not actually a thief. They're the dogs of the thief. So we think the dog is the thief. So, uh... The dog is actually the thief. Which dog do you think did it? Um, the main one it might be Xena. Xena. The warrior princess. Warrior princess Xena had to have been the thief because, you know why? What? Jojo has never stolen an egg, has he? No. So now we know. We can't just leave our eggs sitting around because Xena, she found the sweet spot. The eggs. Yep. She, she apparently is going to eat our eggs if we let her. One cracker with a bit, we can fall on the ground and let Jenna eat it. Yeah, that's good. We can throw one on the ground and let her eat it. But we can't just let her have our eggs. We won't have any eggs for breakfast. Yes. So that's not going to be a problem much longer because that fence is going to be done and Zena's is going to be in there with her new animals. And also, we might get some baby dinosaurs. Too. Yeah, those baby dinosaurs. So Zena might be afraid. And Zena might be a scaredy cat of dinosaurs. That's right. Oh, I think I heard a car. We'll see if Mazzy's coming home because she wants to show them that special turtle shell, okay? All right, let's see if she's out there. I have two surprises. So Mazzy made it home from the soccer game with Mom. All right, Mazzy, you want to get your first surprise? Okay. Surprise number one. What is it? Whoa, this where did what you get that? I got that? for Easter. You got it for Easter? It's actually a kitty wearing a hood. That did is you know, so cool. Daddy, did you actually know I could take that off? 
I did not know that. You thought it was attached? Mm-hmm. I will. So now the thing we've all been waiting on, the second surprise. I saw a comment about this, so I've been working so hard on this. I finished it like, how many days? Like yesterday, I think you finished it? Yeah. All right. What is it, Mazzy? Da, da, da! Wow! The best surprise ever! The turtle shell that one of you guys wanted me to paint. So we found that when we were hunting wild onions, right, Mazzy? Show them the inside. I thought that was pretty. And then show them the outside. Get it real close to me if you can. That's close. Uh, hang on, right there. So it's that. green and it's orange, and then it's got it's got alternating polka dots. And there's green and orange inside. I thought that. Wow. I thought that could maybe mess it up, but it turned out beautiful. Oh, good job, Mazzy. I bet they're gonna love it. Okay, tell them to leave a comment below if. If you like it, send a, a thumbs up emoji if you like it. But if you don't like it, send a crying face. All right. Let's emoji. not see any crying faces. Let's get lots of thumbs up. Okay, Maz? Thumbs up. All right. Thumbs up, Let's end the video. Up. Okay, yeah. You going to tell them good night? Good night.